All right, final algebra practice problem. Here we're looking for delta t. Uh, so I'm going to eliminate, uh, let's see, v and n and m, it looks like. So I'll start with n, since that's the by far the easiest to uh, sub in there. It's already solved for. So I'll sub it into the third equation. mu sub s times mv squared over r equals 0. Now this is a a uh, place where I get an unexpected uh, surprise. I have an m in the numerator of both terms, so I can get rid of my m, even though I didn't really have a plan of, about how to get rid of it before. This does it for me nicely. Um, you just have to be alert for these opportunities when they arise. So if I write that a little simplified. Okay. Uh, now I need to get rid of v, and that's already nicely solved for me as well. Okay, squaring that expression, make sure I square every term in it, will give me this. Okay, make sure your, um, I might as well go ahead and move this over to the other side. Uh, make sure that your uh, compound fractions are up to date. Uh, this R here is in the denominator overall, which means that I can cancel it with one of the R's from the numerator and then simplify this down quite a bit. It's good form to put the numbers and constants first. And delta t squared is in the denominator. Okay, now it's not too bad. I just moved the delta t squared up, moved the g down. Over g, and then take the square root of both sides, and I am in business.